so funny is like he's got a doctorate in robotics. We've been doing all this really super complicated shit our whole lives. And like what's so wonderful about beer brewing is that it's so fundamentally simple. You can give it to anybody. I'm Mark, and this is Matthew, and we're Dirty Robot Brewworks. Uh, this here is Annabelle. She's going to help us today doing a little bit of the mashing, uh, hoisting, and uh, a little stirring, of course. Humans and machines have a long-standing love affair. Through the years, we've kept their wheels greased so that, in turn, they can grease ours. And at this point, we're kind of inseparable. A few weeks ago, we made an oatmeal coffee stout using coffee beans from Front Cafe. Come on, man, what do you mean you don't have coffee? We don't have coffee. <laughs> coffee milk stout. What? Coffee milk stout. Yeah, that's what you guys are doing today. Your coffee, front, front special. How does milk get incorporated? Do you just like pour some milk in? <laughs> Sounds great. It's actually powdered lactose. Oh, okay. We got the robots doing the mash in today. Yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna have to come watch that. That sounds awesome. <laughs> so this is what's going in there, so tell us about it. Steeping coffee at low temperatures over an extended period of time allows the coffee flavor to be extracted without leaching oils from the coffee. Cold steeping coffee complements the stout by knocking back the bitterness. We're going to wait for the beer to ferment so it's alcoholic, yeah. so that any kind of bacteria or yeast and it's gone. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Um, and then we'll do, I guess, the same thing, like 24 yeah. hour. 24 hour soak. Sweet. Awesome. And thanks for the coffee. You're welcome. <laughs> As brewers, we've, we've been very interested in bringing the technology and the, the spirit of making things ourselves in, into the brewing process. This thing was totally our, our second attempt at a grain mill. We designed this brew sculpture ourselves, hybrid of the, the kind of pump-based um, horizontal brew sculptures and then the vertical sculptures that use gravity feed. We wanted to create something that allowed us to uh, actually raise and lower the, the kettles according to the, you know, what phase in the, in the brew process we we're at. We're gonna put the bucket on the robot arm and it's gonna yeah, pour the grain in. Let's do that now, actually. Dude, we're gonna sling some fucking barley around. That's it! <laughs> so nice when a robot does your brewing for you. Yeah, right? The sort of big robots is a spoof. We love programming stuff. There's a lot of just excitement over the technology and geekism we're, we're kind of exploiting, but... We know how to, we know how to program microcontrollers and, and connect sensors and everything, so we, we're going to do it ourselves. Kent Golding's British Hops. These provide the bitterness and the aroma that both kind of preserves the beer and helps to offset the malty sweetness. So uh, the robot's going to stir now and we're gonna pour the rest of the grain in. I need you to stir for me. Yeah, I got it. There you go. It smells good. It looks like an espresso is what it looks like. It's made of heart. It loves you. Something we're very interested in is publishing the plans and instructions for the things that we design and contribute them back to the maker community. It's about the sort of open source movement. They can take what we've done and then make it better. Ultimately, we're not making better beer because of the robotics right, no. that we bring to it, no. but to have an outlet for all of our skills and training that can be appreciated by anybody who likes a pint of beer is just a, a fun and rewarding way to express yeah. all that work that we, that we do every other day of the week. So while we're still quite a ways from weightlessly arguing with HAL 9000 over beer recipes, at least we have Annabelle to pioneer the way.